All right, hostess. So now that we got our dude shooting his bullets out, let's go ahead and make those balls fall from the sky. So we're actually going to make two new methods. The first one is just going to say, uh, let's just say, um, to create a new ball. So we're going to create a method called create ball node. And what this is going to do is essentially just create a ball from it's going to create it on the top of the screen. And then the cool thing about this is since we have gravity already in our environment, we don't have to add any vectors because remember before, whenever we were shooting at the arrow, we needed to add that initial force. But now if we just create a spray on the top of the screen, it's going to fall down by default, which is really stinking sweet. So let's go ahead and do that. And let me give myself a little bit more space so you guys can see it easier. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get a reference to this image right here. That's the ball. So I'll say let just call it ball. Why not? Equals SK. Sprite node. And the parameter is image named and it was named starball dot ping starball. All right, so now that we said, okay, we're using this image, it's going to say, okay, well, where do you want to put it? Now, we want to, the ball to pretty much appear in a different place every time. We just don't want it falling from the same point. So we're always going to make it appear at the top of the screen, but the X is going to be random, the left and right. So it's going to fall on maybe from the left, maybe in the middle, maybe from the right. Who knows? It's going to be random. So if we put ball dot position, what we can do is we need to set the position equal to a point. So CG point make. Now again, the X is going to be random. And I really don't like how um, swift random numbers are generated. It's kind of confusing. So what we have to do is we actually have to create a new method. And that's going to be the second method in this tutorial. And it's just going to give us a random number from zero to the width of the screen. So I don't know, maybe if the width is like 720 pixels, it'll give you a random number zero to 720. And then the ball will appear in a different position every time. Now for the Y direction up and down, we always want to make them on the top of the screen since that's where they're going to start to fall down. So we can just use self dot size dot height. Now again, for the random number method that I'm going to create, we're just going to pass in self dot size dot width and this is going to get the width of the screen and then we can use that actually might as well just create the method right now to uh generate random numbers so random number between zero and width so what was it called random number and I'll call the parameter maximum since we are already know that zero is the minimum, the very left and the maximum of course would be the entire right, which would resemble the right hand side of the screen. So somewhere in the middle of the screen and it's actually a float that we pass in and we need to return a float to, to make a point on the screen. So CG float. All right. Now the formula that, or not the formula, the function that we use that's built in to generate random numbers, it actually takes a u int, pretty much an integer. So we need to convert this float value that we passed in to an integer first. So I'll say let max int just set it equal to u int, and it's actually 32. And of course, that's maximum. And for the ending result that we want back, i will just call it result. We're going to call the formula arc for random uniform. This one right here, uint 32. So it looks like a really stupid and confusing um, name method, but all it's going to do is it's going to generate a random number for you. And again, iOS Swift, it takes care of it behind the scenes. You just pass it in a maximum value and it generates zero to that value. So again, it's going to generate zero to like 720 or 1080, whatever the size of the device is. 
And all we have to do now is return that value. So CG float, since the result is actually whatever this returned, and result. So again, this is a really weird way of generating a random number from zero to some maximum value. But again, that's a Swift iOS, you gotta blame them and not me. So now we generated a point that has a random X value that's always gonna appear at the top of the screen. Now we're just gonna continue um, setting some other parameters for that ball node sprite. So the first thing I wanna do is I just wanna give it a name. I'm gonna name it ball node. And for the physics body, we just gotta set up some collision detection stuff right here. Set this equal to S, K, physics body. Now, again, remember, this is pretty much the frame around your object. And this is used, of course, with collision detection, all that good stuff. So for the parameter, I'm gonna type circle of radius. And what is the radius since we're using a circular object? Well, the radius, of course, is just half the width. So ball, the size of the ball, over two. All right, now the last thing you have to do, of course, ball dot physics body uses precise collision detection, set this equal to true, and that just makes sure that we enable collision detection. And now we just add it to the screen. So self dot add child ball. So again, all this is gonna do is it's gonna create a ball node in a random X position. So it's always going to appear at the top of the screen. So we're going to call this every, I don't know, like maybe two seconds. And if that's too easy, then we'll call it like every one second. The faster we call it, the harder the game's going to be. But uh, yeah, that is that method. And now what we need to do is we need to set up the animation for this. And it's real quick, but I'm going to show you guys that in the next video since this one is getting kind of long. So I'll see you then.